What is up YouTube and welcome back to a brand new series for the game Subsistence. Likely one of the hardest games ever made. This will not be a tutorial video. This will be a noob playing Subsistence. Now I've seen a bit of a bit of video of people playing it. This is my second time trying it. The first time was a few weeks back. Just to try it out. Uh, it's one of them games that's very grinding, very hard to play, and you requires, I think, a lot more patience than skill. I don't know if you would agree. But immediately getting into the game, I've got my axe, I've got a gun with... You start with one bullet and a few on the thing, but I load them up just to make sure. And then a light stick that never seems to do me much good. First thing we're going to do, like any survival game, is get some wood. Now you can get three wood from a tree. From what I've seen, apart from the larger trees that give a little bit more wonk, either four or five. Uh, the extra large trees give you five, I think, and a grub that you can use for fishing. Uh, but for now, the idea here is that you just gather resources, right? Of course, anything that I'm doing wrong, any advice, you're more than welcome to help me out. Uh, Fibre is a huge problem for me, though I believe... It's actually better than it was previous uh, previous release, the previous alpha release or something. Because now it's in massive bushes, it's easier to get, but you need a lot. I mean, you need 14 to make a cordage, and you need a lot of cordage to do almost everything. So, just a bit of a overview of what the plan is, and specifically for those that don't know the game, uh, similar to me, really. Uh, so survival game we're going to build a base we are going to build a base after i've done a lot of gathering i don't know where but it will it will be near water just because i like the view uh, but also just it's easier to get the water then because water is a thing in this game and it has to be cleaned um there are wild animals all over uh, wolves and bears and i think a little bit later on there is cougars as well and a different type of wolf that i've not seen yet there are uh, chickens and rabbits of which you can kill and eat and farm as well the predator animals will hunt you should you get close enough to them and then as soon as we've built our first base hunters or the humans will move in and start to uh, well, hunt uh, but they'll also attack us as well now it's no easy feat they are hard to kill they seem to have better weapons straight away from what i've seen unless i'm doing something seriously wrong even when they start with their first platform and they're just minding their own business, they have shotguns and things, and I have a handgun, which is no good against a shotgun. Not in close combat, anyway. And then the big news that you see in a lot of videos is that the update has brought in the plane crash as well, which we do see a plane crash, but I am not going nowhere near it because you need to be well kitted out to fight off the pilots. But the reward is just, and I think it's quite good. There is a lot of these crates about. The wooden ones are for building materials, I believe. There is some fabric ones as well for weapon crates and for the first aid. So dodging there, you can see I actually dodged because there was a bear hiding behind the bush and I heard it growl. You can see a bear in the background there. So this is what it's all about at the very beginning. You want to get wood, 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 any cordage, and obviously make sure you see any berries or food, depending on what month you start in. Now we are starting in June, I believe I picked, uh, just to help you out a little bit with the cold. Uh, the default, I believe, is March, but I moved it to June. There's another bear over there to the right as well. Hopefully this is coming across nice and clear. I have got it playing in full 4K. So take advantage of that if you do have the facility to do so. Um, there is a lot of bushes around that are not fibre, which is really triggering for me. When you play a game like Icarus or something where everything's grabbable and then this one's not so. That red X there means you can't harvest that tree again for a set amount of time. And I'm not sure I know what that time is. I believe it's like a, a day or half a day. So just going around and getting as, as much wood as possible. The wood will turn into planks and sticks, but also we'll need that to build and fuel a fire. We, well, I won't be building a fire until I build the base, uh, because you start with a match that makes it easier to start the fire, and I don't want to waste it. Also, from what I've previously played, uh, I kind of settled down pretty quick, and then I was in the middle of nowhere. So while I'm doing this, I just want to wander around uh, and basically just 
get used, to get my bearings, have a look at the map, and just find somewhere that looks a bit more perfect as opposed to just throwing down a base willy nilly. Up there on the left, -hand, uh, the left top left hand side, you can see there are some quests to do. Uh, you don't get anything from them; it's more of a tutorial than a quest. And I am going to follow them, obviously, but it's the bog standard, really. You you, you harvest wood, you harvest fibre. Uh, you hunt an animal with a bow because the smaller animals, the chicken and the rabbit, if you use your gun, it just destroys them. You can't then eat them. You have to use a bow. Uh, of course, you can use a bow to kill anything. Uh, and you can use the gun to kill them, but they're no good if you do. The chickens as well, I found out, that you can actually just run after them and catch them if you're patient enough. Uh, the rabbits, though, I don't think you can. Uh, or at least I can't. I'm not good enough at it. They seem too fast. So yeah, picking up the animals uh, by hand will allow you to keep them alive and therefore take them back and put them in a pen once you've made one. Uh, shooting them with an arrow, there is a chance they'll still survive, but they can also die as well. When you pick them up and they're alive, obviously you can choose to kill them in your inventory, uh, which I would be doing because we want to get the bow up and running as soon as possible, and the thing we need for that are feathers for the arrows, um, and then nails which you get from the building crates. You can't get nails any other way. You can probably craft them late game, but I've never actually got there, so I don't know. So this is fibre, and we're going to get lots of this. You need 14 of the fibre to make one cordage. Uh, and that is quite difficult, I would say. I know guys and people who are watching, if you've played this before, you'll probably say, no, it's easy now. But not for me. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Um, and the bases are quite hard to build as well because of how many resources you need so making a massive base like you're used to in some sort of creative world on another game ain't possible here because from what I'm aware there is no creative way there's no cheats uh, there, there, there's really no way to emphasize how gruelingly difficult and grindy uh, this game is but the grindy in a good way right because I am enjoying it even though it sounds really monotonous it's fun and it gives you a much better sense of achievement when you have built something, i.e. your first little rectangular base. So coming back, really just been walking around doing the same. Farming, 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 collecting, collecting, collecting. You can see that fence there on the right hand side, that is the boundary, that goes all the way around. It is not a fixed shape, or at least it is a fixed shape, but it's not like a square circle or rectangle, it's a wonk shape. Um, I am, as far as I'm aware, it is a fixed map. It is not procedural, so everything is in the same place for everyone. Uh, again, obviously, I'm open to be corrected and help me out and learn in this as well. Um, Tip-wise, I have done sort of a perimeter run where I've walked around the entire perimeter to start. And as daft as it sounds, there's really not that much in terms of loot you find or I've been finding more loot when I've come away from the edges in the center there is another bear next to that chest so we ain't getting that chest and then you can see the fence over here so just wandering around keeping myself safe from the animals now in terms of running you can sprint with your shift button as normal you have stamina which is above my health down there on the bottom right and I am currently sprinting that's as fast as you run now you can outrun both the bear and the Wolf, yes, you can outrun both of them. I don't believe you can outrun the, the cat, though I've never actually tried. Um, but you do need to be patient. So killing them is quite simple with a bow. You kind of shoot them, run away until they give up, and then you start to shoot them and can rinse and repeat. And that way you can get some of the larger meat, steaks, etc. from them. It is risky, of course, and if they do cause any damage to you, i.e. breaking your leg, or causing you to bleed, you will inevitably slow down and it won't end well for you. Now I am playing this game on normal, for reference. That means that when I die, there is a small penalty of goods lost. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but also obviously you spawn in a random location and have to go and get your goods back again. The goods are on a timer, and if that timer runs out before you collect them, you lose them all. There is a much harder level than that, and that's hardcore, and as far as I'm aware, it's what it says, a bit like Minecraft. When it's over, it's over, and I can't imagine people playing that. They must be have balls of steel, because, yeah, you can easily die in this game for many, many reasons. Uh, dropping off, Jumping off a rock is quite easy to break a leg, etc. 
and then you'll just get mauled by the next thing that sees you. One thing that's weird and a bit disappointing though is that the predators ignore the actual animals so the bears and wolves ignore the chickens and rabbits. Seems a bit strange. They will ignore them but immediately jump on me. So uh, when I first started playing I thought oh it's okay I'll wait for the chicken to go near the wolf and it'll be safe. It's not. So note to you if you didn't know that you do now. Uh, coming back because there's a bit of a different thing there to harvest and that is a blueberry now as far as I can see there are a few things around blueberries uh, strawberries carrots I've had an onion that it also depends you can also get cotton now you can get the seeds and farm them and that growl you heard just there was aggro in a wolf and I'm not sure if it's following me now or not but I am running like the wind anyway just in case I'm not going to stop and turn around until I at least feel like he stopped, just in case. And yes, he stopped. I'm safe. It's fine. Uh, so carry on. Farming away. That's a bear back there, but I need that fibre, so sorry, Mr. Bear. Goodbye. Uh, and yes, yeah, so you can grow the things as well as eat them, um, eat them raw from the ground. There is two parts to the structure of your health and stamina. Uh, for the food and that is protein and veg fruit and vegetables you need to make sure you keep both of them up and then of course it's thirst as well which is just your uh, water or depending on what you eat I think there is some water from the fruits and stuff but mainly you will just be getting water and you must boil the water to clean it uh, you can tell the difference by the fact that when you pick up the water it's brown and when you put it on a fire to sterilize it it goes well blue but clear so this is, as far as I'm aware, the sort of the, the basics. Again, I am, and you can see some else is growing out the ground there. So we're going to get that. Looks like a carrot. Fantastic. Now you can eat the carrot, or you can right-click on it and turn it into a seed. You can do that with everything apart from the blueberries and strawberries, to my knowledge. Oh, and the apples. You can't do it to them either. Um, so probably just the vegetables you can, and the fruit you can't. I'm not sure. But yeah, so it's this is this is where we're at. This is what I'm doing. I'm just getting a stockpile so that when we actually get somewhere to settle again near the water, when I find the water, uh, we'll have a structure to start us off with because it is very grindy. I don't know how you want me to progress with this. So for you guys that are yeah, run like hell. That was very close. Uh, for, for those guys that are enjoying this, please do drop me a thumbs up and let me know. And please do comment for any comments that you wish to make. Whether you want me to do it a different way, whether you can give me any advice. I have learned, don't worry, I am not going anywhere near that moose. Although it will run away from me. If you aggro it, it does a lot of damage to you. And that was stupid. I was trying to use the, I think it's the V button, which puts you in third person. But then you can't do anything. I was going to try and see if I could look behind me, but you can't. Um, so instead I am running like how you can see I am already bleeding to stop that you need to use a bandage but I believe it will stop on its own after a period of time um, but I do have bandages so just go in there and use one of them and that will stop it now the dog is a bit confused with the wall so we'll move on and just leave him there it was a level 3 wolf as well so it's pretty strong I believe the maximum level is 10 Every time a predator kills something, i.e. you, they will level up. Uh, and I believe, other than giving them extra health and probably damage, they also give you more resources when you do finally kill them. If you can kill them, of course. Now, playing on the normal easy modes, uh, the only difference, I, I, well, according to the text, is that um, the easy mode, there's a lot less spawns in terms of the predators. And uh, the normal mode there's more and then hardcore I'm not sure and I'm not going to find out anytime soon so you could tell me that so yeah we're getting some stock there I can see 77 fibre uh, some ammo stuff as well I'll turn them immediately into bullets for our gun the gun is loaded but it's only loaded in case of an emergency just have a drink of water there as we have it um, and then there's the foods as well now I'm not stocking up on the protein at all doing this simply because I don't have a bow yet and I am not taking on one of the larger animals so my idea is that when we get desperate for food and whether it be food or whatever comes first the, the lack of protein or nighttime 
and we set up our little camp next to a lake I will fish and then that will give us the protein what fish I will get and how big etc I've got no idea uh, but we'll give it a go and see what we can do it took me a couple of goes to get used to the fishing and it's quite simple actually when you know how to do it but it is brutal if you don't because it uses up your bait and then you have to make it again the bait's not easy to make in this you need the grubs first and they can only be get be gotten from specific trees very very large weird shaped trees okay so we found some water a nice little pond lake yeah lake I guess bit small for what we want to actually do just gonna have a quick look in here there is some kelp I hope now that is the easiest food to get though it will make you wet and if you're in colder months it's probably not the wisest also if it's winter I believe it freezes over and you have to smash your way through the ice but there is also some resources down here but as you can see there is an oxygen and you do not want to drown popping straight up there is a predator waiting for me so we'll go the opposite way but the the, the kelp is a nice uh, way of getting some extra food should you need to um, and keep you going you can use it for an antidote as well for poison I think you need f it's five five but I haven't successfully made one of them yet because you also need to get a liver from one of the larger animals and they're not easy to kill at the start but also I it's that it doesn't always drop it's not as it's rarer than obviously the, the, the meat and the, the skin okay so the sun is going down and we're just coming in to do a bit of crafting the first thing I'm going to throw out is a pickaxe uh, to make sure that when we see any of these metal nodes that I get them immediately and there is one on the top of here that we're getting now so it is a bit finicky actually I find uh, sometimes I have to press the C button so control sorry C to crouch to in order to hit them otherwise you're too high let me know if that's something on my side or if it's just how the game mechanics are um, but you can reasonably get them all. There are a couple I've seen where they're on the side of rocks that are just impossible unless, I don't know, you get rock climbing gear or you can build your base near it so that you can actually get up the side of the mountain, I'm not sure. Um, but then what you can see as well is that I'm crafting some planks, uh, some cordage. There's a decent amount of cordage, 16 there already been made. So that's 16 times 14 is how much fibre we've farmed. Uh, so a significant amount of farming for this first sort of day into this game of subsistence. Um, I I will say that will go quick, right? We've got a little glow stick here for light, but it is rubbish. If anything, when it gets too dark, it makes it harder to see, in my opinion. So what you'll probably find is I'll try and either edit, post-edit the gamma up so that you can see in the dark or I might have to just skip the nights um, because I'm not going to be doing much certainly at this stage if I can hobble down in a hole or a little hut I will stay there for the night similar to like a hardcore game of Minecraft where you just hide through the night with a, in, a, in, a, in a 2 by one block and a torch there is obviously predators all over and it's getting to the point now where I can't see though I am trying to collect absolutely everything I can I have the two tools now that we'll have until the end. I'm not aware that you can upgrade the tools, but I could be wrong. Um, we start with the metal axe that you start with anyway, and then there's the pickaxe that we've already already got, and you shouldn't need any more tools than that. Another building crate here for hopefully some nails. Yes, excellent. So that's good. And let's see what we see, uh, and see if I can post edit this to make it look any better at all okay so we are at the beach uh, and it is a little bit dark i have posted it a little bit i might boost it a bit more we'll see anyway hopefully it's vis it, visibly it's okay for you guys let me know if not and i know for the future to make it brighter darker etc but it is kind of for me it's very very dark uh, so we're on the beach of this large lake and this is where we're going to be setting up camp not necessarily here but definitely near here just having a bit to eat you can see my protein is zero uh, just making sure, stocking up on my items and making sure that we have everything crafted that we can. I am going to need a fishing rod, but firstly I'm going to need to build the basics of what we need to build a hut. So you need one uh, foundation, one wall, and one base unit. Now placing the base unit starts the game properly where you get the enemies spawning. If you don't place that or remove that, it will stop them. But I feel like that's a bit too cheesy. 
So when I build it, it's going to stay there. Um, and then as soon as we've got that, we can get a campfire and start getting some food in me. The idea being it will be fish, I hope. Depending on if we can catch them. Of course, we need the grubs for that. Uh, and we need a fishing rod for that. Uh, but that shouldn't be too difficult because the trees are easy to spot. Um, and I think there is at least two or three around this lake, so I'm not too worried. What we're going to do is just take a walk around the lake and just try and find whereabouts we want to settle. And, of course, hopefully not die yet anyway. Okay, so I'm going to be honest here and say that I actually stood here after I crafted all that stuff and waited. You can see the base items are in the bottom. And I went a bit. Of, I went AFK while I just had a look at some tutorial type things, and this happened. Yes, that is a bear, and he annihilated me. So we're dead, um, and that means now that I'm going to respawn somewhere. As far as I know, it's just random, unless you have a bed, and you can spawn. You just spawn randomly, and upon spawning back in. You could see by that skull uh, locator that was to the left hand side of where we're going now. We are around 1200, 1300 meters away from our corpse. So we've got to make our way back there in the dead of night uh, and retrieve those as soon as possible. So let's just shoot over there as quick as possible and get them. There is a time limit, you can see that in the blue below. I think it says 13 minutes. Um, and that's a wolf, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to run like hell and we're going to go in that direction and hope for the best. And here we are, safe and sound. Swam across the lake, it's no big deal. There's no predators in the water, luckily, so that'll help us out quite a lot. And we'll get away from that bear that murdered us. So now what we need to do, you can see, we've still got our gear, we've still got our building resources, we've got our gun. We lost some goods, and I think that's expected. We lost ammo, yes, ammo that we made. No, we haven't, it's still there. Um, so yeah, I think you do lose things sometimes, but I'm not sure what it is and how it works. So if you know that as well, please let us know. So all we need to do now is make our way around a bit further and find a plot for our base. I would like to build it on the water like this, but then looking back uh, to be a bit flatter. So that if we get invaded by the hunters, they won't be able to hide behind all of these rocks, etc. So it's just a bit of a strategy. Whether it work or not, I mean, I could build one right in the middle of the lake. That would make it difficult for them. But nonetheless, we just need to find where that location will be. So, more farming uh, and, kind of, well, foraging, I suppose is the better term, later around the lake. And I think we've come up on an area that I'm happy with. This is a really nice, big, flat beach here. This tree to the right there, this extra large one, yes, this one is called uh well i'm gonna name it a grub grub tree don't know why uh because it's the trees that give you the grub so you will get i believe it's five woods and then the sixth instead of six woods you get a grub that grub is then used to make one tackle and will allow you to catch one fish And this is it, after like a day and a half to two days of solid foraging and collecting and, and determining what we want to do, uh, this is where I am going to build my base. Now I did build two 
of the bases by accident, so I will put them down. Um, and yes, I know I put them down, and they don't match in the terms of their orientation. Apologies for that. I will fix it. I didn't realise there was a numpad thing. I've just seen it post edit, and I didn't realise it was there when I was building. So the two platforms, the wall, and as I said, then the BSU or the BCU, BCU base command unit goes down and that is where the game starts now because you will find you will get hunters starting to spawn in and that unlocks all of that technical crafting to the left hand side there but that will be for the next episode so thank you very much for watching if you like the video please click like any comments are welcome and support also subscribe for more and please do click the like if you like this video so i know to make more take care goodbye